everyone, thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to teach you how to stretch your character. Like this project here that I made earlier. Wherever I move my mouse pointer, the cat is always stretched to it. Alright, to put this with your own sprite, you're going to need to remix this project. Now, how do we find it? Well, go to the Scratch search and search up 279139. That is my username. Now, click on my profile. It's currently my featured project, but if it's not there, then you can find it in my shared projects. You can click the flag and play around with it if you want. Click Remix. Alright, now you saved it as you now, this scratch cat here is not a sprite. It's all drawn with pen. And how does the pen know what to draw? It's because this list lines has in, um, a bunch of numbers which shows what color to choose and then makes a dot for that color. So you're going to record your own thing. Go to pen and click erase all. Go to item and click show. Go to costumes and upload a costume that you want. I'm gonna click surprise. Oh, this is too big. I'm gonna make it a bit small. Alright. Actually, I don't like the look of this grasshopper. Let me try this shark. This depressed shark. It looks good. Alright. Now, go back to the record sprite and make sure to click show. Alright. This is good. Now, change these colors to the colors of your costume. Now, if there's not enough colors here, duplicate an if-else block, take out the bottom of the else, delete it, and then drag that block into there. Alright, but I don't, I already have all the colors I need. Now, when you're done with that, go down to this record block. What is this doing is it records at an X and a Y, then to the all the way to the to the negative Y, and it does it right away. So this is minus 115 on 111. So it will go to minus 115, 111, and X and Y. Then it will. Scan a line, scan another line, scan another line, scan another line, scan another line, until it gets to negative 111 and Y. Now, make sure, so if you want to know where to record, make sure your Y is positive. You see, here's the record sprite. It is um, over the shark, but the if the shark went, um, but the X is still not enough. Make sure the X is negative. Then do minus 150, but still it's not far enough. So I'm gonna do minus 175. Okay, now it's in the top left corner of your sprite and that is good. So input in this record block uh, the coordinates of the record sprite. Alright, now you don't need to drag in the wind flag click. Before you do anything else, click the block. Oh, 
All right, now it's done. When the block, when this code up here is no longer yellow, you know that it is done. Then you go to your item, and you can hide it. Actually, you can even record hide the record spread. Actually, I take that back. Make sure your item is shown. This next part, we're going to replace these colors of to the colors that you had put in in your record spread. Make sure they're in the same order. And here it's the blue, black, white. So in the draw sprite, I need to make sure that it's the same blue, black, white. Well, that white stays the same. Now, if you still if you had another color, then just change this if block into an if else block. Um, make sure to have the same code down, then drag that if block into the else, change this to 4, duplicate this code into there, and make sure the color is the color that you had put it to earlier. But, my, I myself, I don't need to do that because I have enough colors already. Alright, now you can hide the item spread. Go to draw, and then you click the flag, it will draw it to your notch portrait. Now for me, it's doing that where it's not loading very fast, and that is because my computer is slow. If your computer is faster and you're also not recording the video, which makes it super slow, then it would run much faster and smoother. It also helps if when you record the item, the item is smaller. Alright, that is all for today. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, and, uh, uh, again, it's not supposed to be this slow. It's only this slow because I'm recording a video and that makes it slow. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and, um, see you later.